That's when I realized I want to make a difference, change other people's lives, give hope even for a moment, use my name for good, and change the game I could. Welcome back, Medleonaires. If this is your first time joining me, please hit that subscribe button and click the like if you like what you see. Today I am showing you my wash day process. So I begin with wetting my hair. Water is the most important cleanser that we have. And I'm using the Mazzani True Textures Shampoo. And this is my favorite shampoo right now. However, however, I do like to switch between Mazzani and my Shea Moisture. Um, just because I feel like my hair gets used to the same um, shampoo after a while and does not work as well. So I do like to switch it up. So yes, I get a good lather going. Make sure to scrub my scalp. And then I rinse it out and now I'm using the Shea Moisture Yucca and Plantain Anti-Breakage Strengthening Conditioner and I like to apply this very very generously. Um, uh, my hair really soaks up the conditioner and I have very thick hair a lot of it so yes I apply it generously and take each, each section and detangle. And so I, like I said, I like to section it out and detangle and try to um, get all of the tangles out so that the product is well balanced in my hair. And then you let it sit for about five minutes. I'm typically washing my body and taking my shower then. And then I rinse it out. Make sure to get all of that conditioner out. And now comes the fun part. I jump out of the shower and I usually have this pre-made. However, today I'm making it on camera and I started with about a fourth of a cup of aloe vera juice, a tablespoon of honey, and a full avocado. Um, I would suggest to use a little bit less aloe vera juice, maybe an eighth of a cup, um, because this conditioner was a little bit more runny than I would have liked it. And I also suggest that you strain it afterwards. Um, I did not strain it this day, and I was pulling out little pieces of the avocado all day. So yeah, not a good idea not to strain it. There's little brown hairs in avocado that you can't see. All right, so um, now I'm just gonna section my hair and apply it very generously. You'll hear that a lot with me, especially with my thick hair. It needs to be applied generously. And so I section it off, apply it generously, um, detangle that section and twist it. And when I twist it, I am usually able to pull off any hair that has shed that needs to be pulled out. So I'm showing you um, my process and I will put this in probably um, five to six sections. And I went and grabbed my brush because like I said, I like to really detangle it and that really ensures that the conditioner um, is evenly distributed and really gets through my hair. So yeah, more shedding. Not too bad, however, I do think it's time for me to do a green tea rinse. As you can tell, my blender did not blend it very well, so it's a little chunky, but it does the job. After I finish placing all of the conditioner on my hair, that is when I um, put a cap on it. I usually use just a shower cap and my hair gets really cool under there however I was sent a hot head conditioning cap so I am using that today and I was pleasantly surprised at how well it heated up my hair and made the conditioner soak deeper into my hair follicles um, it is a little bit heavy however um, I don't mind that if I'm staying at home this cap is made from hundred percent cotton materials flaxseed and TLC according to their website. So now I have the conditioner on my hair, on every part of my hair, and I'm going to start with the hot head process. So you start with a clear shower cap, um, just one of the regular shower caps, and that protects the um, hot head from being 
getting dirty um, because this is not machine washable. You do just hand spot wash this. You don't want to submerse it in water. So yeah, this is the pattern that I chose. It's very pretty. I really think it's calming and relaxing. It just reminds me of a spa. So you place this in the microwave flat for about 30 to 45 seconds depending on your microwave and then you flip it inside out and go another 30 to 45 seconds, shake it, flip it inside out and go another 30 to 45 seconds. My microwave took four times um, before it was adequately hot and this will stay hot for about 20 to 45 minutes. Check out my blog post below for more info.